Paper's Kim from StampingInPerfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I have a quick tip for you. I shared in a recent video that I save ridiculously small scraps of paper. And I'm sure you're like me. You end up with lots of little paper strips, all different shapes and sizes. And I wanted to share just some quick ideas of things that you can do with those little paper strips. And I felt inspired this week by my card for this coming week's My Papercraft Crew Sketch Challenge. And here I've used, in this card, it calls for a strip along the bottom. So I had a bunch of one inch strips and I thought I'd just see in like a 15 or 20 minutes what I could do with these little strips. So here on the card that I finally decided on, I took a one inch strip I stamped it with one of the edgelets in a coordinating color with the card and then I um, wrapped it all with baker's twine. So baker's twine ribbon stamping in a contrasting color. You can also take and stamp it in a tone on tone color just like that. Now Stampin' Up! has a ton of these little edgelet stamps. I've used a combination of two little edgelet stamps. You can see these up here. And the beautiful thing about these is they are photopolymer, so it was very easy to line one up inside the other. So that's a tone-on-tone -tone look compared to using some kind of contrasting or coordinating color. So that's, you know, just a couple of ideas. Besides just leaving this strip plain across the bottom, which I very well could have done, um, you know, like there are a couple of ideas. I could also have taken and stamped my sentiment in that little bottom image added some embellishments and just put that across. I could have centered the sentiment. I chose to put it to the left. Lots of little ideas there. Another fun thing to do, we have some border punches. I love the scale up edge border punch. This is a really pretty touch for a card and it just gives you a little, you know, a nice little edge along the bottom. You could actually put the edge along the cardstock below it and then put this below the edge so it's just peeking out underneath so you get something that would look like like that. So another idea. We also have instead of these border punches we have a couple different varieties of these confetti style punches where you get something that looks like this. Now this is a little bit wider than an inch. This is an inch and a quarter and that actually is a perfect width for the border. And you can see if I were to put this along the bottom of the card, that's actually kind of a pretty touch. Put some designer series paper behind that. If you want to, just to give it some contrast, that looks very pretty. Another way to edge the cards with your Big Shot, we have edgelets. So here's another idea you can use. I use the edgelet to give myself an interesting shape along the edge. And I ended up with this, which I could layer on top, or I could use this piece on another, um, a whole another card altogether. So you've got your edgelets that you can also use to create borders. Then of course there's embossing. There are there are specific little embossing folders that are specifically for edges, so you can create a decorative little edge like that, or you can take your favorite embossing folder and just slide that little paper inside and get any any design that you have an embossing folder for. So using an embossing folder is a really great idea. You can make pennants and banners. These are still really trendy on cards. So that's another thing that you can do with them. And then the last couple ideas I wanted to share, and this is one I always forget, that um, I wish I didn't forget, but it's paper piercing. We have templates available. Lots of little edges here. I could have just chosen to put straight lines, although I never get the line straight even with the template. So my paper piercing mat, the template, and my paper piercing tool, and I've actually got just a pretty little touch that I could add to a card. It's very subtle, but it's just a little something extra. And then finally, the other thing I wanted to share washi tape. Washi tape is a perfect little thing to do. I could put one piece of washi tape or several pieces of washi tape if I wanted to and uh, you know coordinating colors or patterns just to make the bottom of my card pop a little bit or um, wherever I put that. You might choose to put this strip across the center of your card. The sketch I used just happened to call for this wide strip at the bottom. So you can see that's actually a really pretty touch too if I had chosen to use this color scheme. 
And then, of course, besides Baker's Twine, you can always add a nice ribbon to that also. So there you go, just a few quick ideas of what to do with those little paper strips. Thanks for watching. Stop by my blog at stampingimperfection.com, and you can purchase all of these supplies online at mystampingstore.com. Thanks for watching.